Hey all, I'm Phil, the game director for Dawn of War 3. And I'm Kara, I'm a game designer on Dawn of War 3. And today we're going to take a look at a pretty epic 3v3 match to help you get ready for our upcoming multiplayer open beta. Alright, here we go. So what we're seeing from the get-go is basically players starting to uh, extend to the rest of the map. Uh, I imagine that we're going to see a lot of Boltingers teleporting forward, uh, capturing early resource points. Yeah, definitely a lot of focus on the middle points as well. Um, as we tr as I think people are trying to race to get, get the advantage there. So we can see a, a Bone Singer is about to teleport forward there. Yeah. Usually, um, this is a difficult map because it's very, um, it's very wide. Um, it spreads the team a lot. And so I can see that in generally when we play matches in this uh, map, either a team c makes a commitment to focusing on one specific area of the map or they scatter. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, I mean, w one of the things with this map, though, is there's a f fair amount of paths in between the different uh, sort of natural sides. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, already we're getting contention over one point that uh, one team took and now the other team has taken. They're trying to scout out with uh, their reveal there. Yeah, it, it seems that uh, the Space Marine player there may be at an advantage just because they have a tag squad, uh, two tag yeah. squads coming in oh to yeah. defend that point, building a forward base. Um, so this is really wise for them to do early game because uh, they've established a point that they can retreat uh, their units back to. Absolutely. And oh, they just found that bone singer. But look, I think she's going to port away oh, there. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a nice thing about bone singers is their mobility. Um, early game really enables you to scout ahead and Absolutely. move back. Oh, looks like we got some fighting over here. Yeah, so that's a couple of squads of... Um, Shooters, Dire Avengers, and uh, it seems that they're going to try to take that point back. Against two attack squads with a base that yeah. they can retreat back to is going to be a difficult encounter. Absolutely. Although they are making good use of working together here with the uh, Dire Avengers using their grenades to knock over the attack squads and the boys trying to... Tackle the attack marines? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see if they make that chase. Oh, they, they got some heavy away. bolters out. That could be really oh, dangerous. Right. Yeah. So that's smart. Uh, the Orc player basically decided to commit to um, the Devastators instead. Um, Absolutely. Let the what's squad gone. But yeah, it seems that the Eldar player is now alone unless uh, an Orc ally comes in, which they are, it seems. Yeah. Oh wow, we got lots of players in play here. <laughs> yeah. We got orcs on both sides, uh, Eldar and Space Marines yeah. fighting it out. And Dire Avengers trying to <laughs> uncommit from that fight. That yeah, well, it's good. They use the stealth cover to break eye, eye line with the orcs. Yeah, which is really good. Um, mm. But yeah, I think we're seeing a really uh, good example of what we were mentioning earlier. The attack Marines are fighting right by their base and reinforcing their yeah. units. So. At this point, the, the opponents really need a way stronger force to take them yeah. down. Uh, they're committing, though. They're building a wall tower, <laughs> yeah. bringing in. This is oh. all in. Yeah. And, um, oh, look, the Dire Avengers, uh, they're using uh, their Hollowfield Doctrine, which is a really strong early game doctrine for uh, the Elder Army. It allows them to go temporarily on stealth cover and yeah. basically run away. So. That was a really smart use of it to disengage from that uh, bit of combat. Absolutely. Uh, looks like they've got a, a servitor repairing that building, just like trying to double down on keeping it in place. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, because it's enabling them to keep yeah. going in this fight, right? Um, we'll see if that... Wow, I don't, we've I don't got think that all three how. players on one side here yeah. now. <laughs> Yeah, there's not a lot of combat going on anywhere else. It's interesting. Um, it seems that the left side team definitely is uh, sort of on the back foot. Yeah, at this they point. pulled out. They <laughs> that was a tough fight for that point, but I, I think it's pretty valuable point because it's um, 
It's got two power nodes on it, so that should pay off for them later in the fight. Absolutely. Um, previously, we just uh, started to see the Eldar player doing uh, what every Eldar player should be doing, which is uh, building webway nodes. Absolutely. Because so webway gates basically allow them to retreat back to those points um, and heal their shields. Uh, well, it accelerates the regeneration yeah. of their shields. It also makes them move faster. And we got so a Space Marine player. Oh, boy. He went out and attacked without scouting, and now he's got some oh. some very serious problems. Yeah, because the opponent has the high ground there. Um, Banshees against ranged units, which are never good yeah. news. And those upgraded Ludas are slowing oh. the enemy. Oh, That's that brutal. <laughs> that was brutal. Yeah, that, that was something that could have been avoided by scouting a bit yeah, ahead. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll see. It seems that the right team point has two of the strongest points in control. Yep. Let's see. Oh, oh. elite co units coming in. So these are. This is a common early game elite. That's the kill team, but he didn't upgrade his kill team, so that's going to limit his effectiveness. Yeah, so you can see that they have two upgrades. Um, at this point, the player hasn't chosen any of them, and oh my god, walking into a grinder. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a good idea. At this point, with those um, Ludas there, really what this player needs is uh, something that can tie them up. And, yeah, uh, break like Assault their Marines. Setup. Yeah, exactly. Assault Marines would be really good there. Banshees, unfortunately, are just going to melt as they yeah. walk towards them, unless something else ties them up. Yeah, and another player has got... Um, Dark Reapers up there too, so Oops. that is a lot of firepower this <laughs> early in the game. Yeah. Yeah, they seem to have set up two really good defenses. Um, I don't see them making any push. Um, yeah. But we'll see. They might be, they might be gearing up for something big. Uh, usually early game, we start to see a push towards uh, to getting the generators. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll is see. It we're still in the first escalation phase, so the generators are relatively vulnerable at this stage, mm -hmm. um, especially if they, you catch them undefended. Yeah. Um, in this map, it seems that uh, the blue player, uh, the blue player, <laughs> the right hand player would have an advantage um, by having those two points yeah. that they can retreat back to. We can see that they have a base on both areas. Yeah. So let's see, they're making an attempt to take that point again. Uh, cost them their <laughs> <laughs> their kill team. Uh, got yeah. Jane Zar in. Jane Zar, the, the dark Oh, look Cross at her! She's Lewis. pulling oh. back. That's bringing her tri skill forward right through that enemy drop pod. Yeah, and that was uh, a good play. That was a good play, and the um, an orc ally uh, stepped in to uh, break the setup of the Ludas. Oh yeah, which was good. It was really helpful. Um, it's. Still seems that, oh no, they actually pulled through. Did a good job in this fight. Yeah. I don't know if Jane Sarah is going to make it alive out of that one. Trying. <laughs> oh, oh no. She got oh. trapped and yeah. she's down. <laughs> good up, Noggin. So this is by far, I think, the most contended point in this map. I don't think I've ever seen uh, a game where players uh, keep it for yeah. too long. <laughs> well, it's the most valuable point on the map, so it's and right in the middle. <laughs> right in the middle, it proves a huge advantage, and um, we can see that the basically the team on the right side is doing a really good job of forward base building. Space Marines have it on the bottom uh, side of the map. Uh, the Elder player had it on the top. Orc yeah. player seems to be extending to the middle there. Oh. Yeah, it's just too much firepower for those Ludas. Yeah. I like um, how this uh, Eldar player is playing out because they have a... Um, basically, they're keeping a ranged force. They have Dire Avengers and a couple, if not... I think it's just one squad of uh, Rangers. Yeah. They're really effective if you can move them around a lot, but as we just yeah. saw, if they get taunted by orcs, yeah. uh, that's basically their antidote, right? Like yeah, look at that. The, the orc player made really good use of that spinning claw, mm -hmm. sort of completely shielded his forces from that ranged attack. Yeah. 
Oh, the Eldar player really should retreat at this point because otherwise they're gonna just yeah. melt those units. Oh, taunted. See, yeah. The, yeah, this is how they get melted. Oh, but they managed to run away. I can't believe that. That's crazy. Walking into cover, but boys don't care about cover. <laughs> <laughs> so they just walk yeah, in. This is going to be a tough fight for them. Yeah. Get them out. Yeah, okay. So the yeah. they should retreat back. Just keep running. They've got battle focus, so they're still quite mobile which is the only thing that's really saving them at this point i think so yeah but um this is one of the biggest lessons to learn is that it's better to leave a fight that you're gonna lose and keep your basically in benefit of keeping your units alive absolutely but oh looks yeah nice okay so they did a really good job there at this point i would retreat back and uh, or even just like reinforced by the base you yeah. know like you have an allies base there Yeah. Gorguts is very tanky, so it's going to yeah. take a lot more um, firepower to take him down. Absolutely, although they're, they're definitely building up their force there. Yeah. Gabriel so. just came in. Yeah, so Gorguts is moving back. He'll be able to heal up. And then Gabriel on the other side as well. Yep. So we're starting to see um, mid-game elites being fielded. Doesn't look like this point the other team has managed to um, keep that point and build on it. Yeah. We're also still seeing lots of like, early tier uh, units. Mm -hmm. like, no one's really pushing to tier up very fast. We're in escalation phase two, so the resource flow is starting to increase. But People are really focusing on their infantry. Yeah. And, and that, yeah, sorry. Was, and that makes sense because the infantry is, especially mm -hmm. specialized infantry, can be quite effective. Absolutely, yeah. Like what I think what we're seeing is um, a lot of good use um, of infantry that is upgraded. Yeah. And here comes the wa. It's the first wa. Now there's not a lot of orcs who got caught in the wa, but. It's going to do some healing because Gorguts is on the field. Yeah. And Gorguts can move around pretty quickly <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Uh, you can see the truck is starting to shoot out orc infantry to stun enemies. It's very effective. Yeah. Very effective at breaking down blobs as well. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, because this late in the game, uh, with the lack of tier two, what we're gonna start seeing is a uh, like really good, uh, really big groups of infantry. Yeah. And at that point, players really relied on their mobility. Oh, that that was really interesting. Where we flipped perspectives, so suddenly <laughs> Gorguts looked like Gorguts was just going after Ronin, but in fact, there's like two squads of Rangers there. Yeah. Oh, I, don't, I didn't see what happened to those rangers there, but... Yeah, they, yeah, oh, they got taunted for a second, but they got a lot of cover, so... Yeah. Oh, look at that. I don't know if Gorguts is going to get away from this. Probably not. Oh, boy. Let's see. Gabriel could make the difference there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sounds pretty upset. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Come on, Gorguts. Oh, he's yeah. trying to cut off Gorguts. Yeah, the Eldar ally is trying to chase with the rangers. I think he's going to make it. Oh my god, he's walking into a grinder. Oh, he's walking yeah. right into the Eldar base. <laughs> no, the orc base. Yeah. Oh, he's just going to get melted. Oh, oh. time to run. <laughs> run, Gabe. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, that was the right time to go. I mean, yeah. it was... You're always, oh. yeah, you wow. have to make those decisions, right? It's a, do I overcommit to take down this? Like, taking down Gorguts would have been a good win, but not at the sake of losing Gabriel at this point in the game. Absolutely. Oh yeah, they found that Eldar base sort of set up in stealth cover here. 
Yeah, so the elder player is doing the right thing and teleporting the building out. Yep. They're trying to get the uh, the webway gate out before it teleports. I'm not sure if they'll make it. Oh, oh it got away. It. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, as an elder player, that's always your biggest benefit. It's just how mobile uh, not only your units, but your structures yeah. are as well. Oh, so this player is already up to tier three. So we've seen a lot of tier one units, but at least one or two players have been pushing the tier without us noticing. So yeah, we should start seeing some heavy fireworks soon. <laughs> yeah, like hopefully we'll start to see some tanks uh, being fielded. I mean, we saw the um, truck earlier, but no yeah. predators. Um, oh no fire well, persons. speaking of fireworks, here go here goes an <laughs> orbital bombardment. Yeah, and the rocks are going on as well. Yeah. Oh wow! Yep. <laughs> Man, it's kind of crazy that we're seeing uh, like there has been no push um, yeah. to enter th to basically take down the generators to take. Oh, down look the at turrets. this play with the rocks. The players carrying the rocks right into the enemy. Oh, it's brutal. Just oh, this is, this them. is, <laughs> yup. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that like took out five squads. That was really good use of it. <laughs> yeah, this one, when you start to see um, super abilities coming in, you really need to care about keeping your force as mobile as possible yeah. um, or be very aware of how to counter those super abilities. Yeah. Those players who are doing super abilities early though, they are sacrificing getting late game elites out. Absolutely. They're delaying it because there's a cost in elite points. Yeah. And uh, no team at this point has an advantage on elite points because none of them have pushed any of the um, game yeah. objectives, right? Like they haven't taken down generators or turrets or anything. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that's late for, for this game. Typically, you'll have at least one push on a generator early in the game. Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll see. It, it looks like right now they're kind of like licking their wounds uh, back in the base, maybe building yeah. up a force to push forward. Yeah. Um, we're definitely seeing a lot of teamwork on both sides. Oh, I oh, think here. I saw Wraith Guard. Yeah, some Wraith Guard. So yeah. that's a later tier unit for um, for the Eldar. Oh. Yeah, and Wraith Guard can be absolutely brutal um, yeah. against structures, um, armored opponents in general, but they can uh, make a very significant push for the generators if that player chooses to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, there's people are definitely licking their wounds, doing a bit of scouting. Oh, some tanks on the field now, so that's that's going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. Those are the anti-infantry tanks, the Predator Destructor. So they'll do really well against the blobs we've been seeing. Mm -hmm. Speaking of. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of, yeah. Oh, look at all those rangers. That's... Uh, Stealth blob. It's a, yeah, it's a very risky blob because it can be very brutal. Um, but if a player gets caught in a taunt, um, if they get discovered, it's a, they're yeah. going to lose a lot of value very, very quickly. Absolutely. Just takes one area effect attack <laughs> to, exactly. to yeah. ruin their day. It, which is at this point is what uh, a lot of what you're seeing, right? Yeah. Like the super uh, units, the super abilities have a lot of area of effect abilities that okay. can melt those that blob. There's a wa there looks like they're gonna push for that north point again. Yeah. Oh look oh, at that. Look at that that was really good use of um Gorgatz's stunt. Yeah. Oh but the other army's pushing south now. Yeah so we're seeing right two into those tanks. <laughs> two pushes one at the top uh, one at the bottom, well, at the middle, bottom. Yeah. Um, I think the team on the left side has a, a, an advantage because the team on the left side is pushing through a point that has a defense. Um, yeah. There's an, a listening post there defending that point, whereas this team just has a straight path into the generator. Yeah, definitely. Okay, now they're responding with uh, orbital bombardment. That's really smart. They're putting the, the control node within the range of their turret. So it's going to be very hard to counter by going to take that control yeah. node. Oh, but they're doing it. They're doing yeah, they're it. They're drawing it. off, but like oh. the turret's going to melt them. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wow. Yeah. But the defending player really should try and get some infantry into that 
into that shield generator to bring up its shield. Yeah. As it is, they're still not going to be able to to save it. Yeah. Well, look, they, they managed to, I think, mitigate um, a lot of the damage, even though um, they did lose a lot. Oh, but they did it. Oh, get out of there. Get that out, turret's going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> so the generator is down. Yeah, um, so that, that gives them an economic advantage, but they did lose a lot of troops yeah. taking that fight. So uh, absolutely. They could, uh, the, the opponent team could really make a push at this point. Yeah. But I don't, I don't see what happened. It seems that they took down, took that point in the top and then just stayed there. But yeah. maybe didn't have enough to keep pushing forward. Gabe versus Gabe. Yep. Trying to get away. Stop knocking. It's like, I don't care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're I'm out here. Buddy. Oh, look at that. He's getting behind him, stunning him. Oh. It's yeah. over, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's some self-hate right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, some rebuilding, licking wounds. Licking a lot of wounds, definitely. Um, I still got those two tanks. They're still strong. They could start yeah. doing some damage. Yeah, they could make a big push. Um, have we seen any super elites yet? No. Not yet. Not yet. But there's people hanging at tier three now, so. Yeah. Yeah, we may start seeing some uh, from yep. the left-hand team, given that they got that elite point from the generator, yeah. so... Uh, Mad Dread coming in. Oh, that is going to ruin... Never good news. Yeah. Oh, wow, that was brutal. Uh, speak of the <laughs> devil. Oh, nice, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so the Wraith Knight is our first super unit. Yeah. That was a good use of Gabriel's spinning hammer. Mm -hmm. Did a good job of sort of neutralizing the big death beam from the, the Wraith Knight. Just protecting some allies around it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Death Watch sort of doing a last stand there. Oh, I don't know. He might be running th this running into uh, Madred the into trouble. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Look at that. Last cannons. Oh. <laughs> Good use of the Madrid's tunnel to teleport in. Yeah, um, but, but it's still right into trouble though. Yeah, those last cannons are just and that kill team got streets. away. Yeah, oh he's boy. off screen, but he's actually using the kill team's ability to go back up and be able to come back f uh, at full strength. Yeah. Oh my God! Right oh. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, oh my God! Go. No Benji's. Both abilities on cooldown. No. <laughs> this is gonna be trouble. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I got rocks in the middle of it too. Yeah. Man, I love that the mad red made it out alive from that. Oh my <laughs> god! That just that was like three squads of banshees that yeah. just vanished from this earth. That was a lot of money. <laughs> um, but uh, I love that rescue um, yeah. on the Wraith Knight's part. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, the Wraith Knight's pushing in against last cannon fire. That can be risky. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Especially that it... Oh! <laughs> and there's Beauty the Dr <laughs> the Morkonaut <laughs> right in front of it. Time yeah. to run! Time to run. Do the wise thing! <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay, so she's doing it. She's running away. She's running. Oh! She's getting taunted. Oh, Are the no Oh, the knobs taunted her! Oh, no! <laughs> Very serious problem. Yeah, there's still not enough to take her down, I don't think. So they would no. have to they would have to commit to it and push forward, but they just don't have enough. Yeah. Um, I think it's wise to hold off. That was a pretty... That was a pretty epic fight, yeah. though. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, they're pulling back again to heal. That's a good call. Yeah, reinforcing. It seems that, that so this uh, Space Marine player has the um, listening post doctrine that allows them to reinforce in their listening yeah. post, which is really powerful. Yeah. Um, I mean, in this case, they have their base, whatever. Yeah, this this forward base that we saw the very first fight over is really proving valuable. Yeah. It was definitely worth uh, sacrificing those units in the beginning, but yeah. um, it's good. All right, got some tank busters coming out. 
Oh boy. We're pushing into the middle. <laughs> oh, poor Devastators versus Gorguts. No. <laughs> oh. Uh, good use of that. Oh, oh that my god, that was amazing. <laughs> Drop pod right in, right into Beauty's fist. That is some serious trouble. Yeah. As we switch around the map here, one thing you can notice is you hear the wah towers at different intensities depending on where you are in the map. And that's really, that's intentional. It's a way for you to hunt down where the wah towers are. Yeah. And you get warnings because a whole bunch of orcs like this under wah, they can, they can trample. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they're a meat grinder, right? Yeah. Um, Those death dreads with electric shields, that's uh, that's going to do some damage. Yeah. Yeah, I find that the um, the audio plays a huge role um, yeah. in, like, basically creating map awareness. Yeah. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Two death storms. Death storms trapping those orcs yeah. who thought they had the win. Oh, and the player considered using the orbital bombardment, but yeah. not at this point. Yeah, let's see what they got. Oh, the orcs are committing. They're like, we're trapped. We might as well. That can be yeah. really risky. Oh, there's a fully healed Wraith Knight again. Coming back in. Yeah. Yeah, those death oh, storms really chewed up. Oh. Yeah, and then oh, a oh bunch God. of shadow specters. That's an anti-tank unit. That uh, that Morkonaut has got to get them off his back, or else yeah, he's oh, done he's, for. He's gonna die. Uh, getting some Gretchen out to heal her, but yeah, should have used the shield though. He's got a really good shield ability that could have protected him there, but yeah. No, I don't think, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Not good. Yeah, a, a, a group of Shadow Spectres like that are very, very dangerous against our mortal opponents. Yeah. Um, especially those that have very low mobility, like Beauty, so. Yeah, absolutely. That's unfortunate. Right. Yeah. I sort of feel like there's a grudge in place on this map mm -hmm. about this point I know. here at the bottom. It's yeah. like, this is the first point we fought over. We really want to take care of it. Yes. We've got orbital bombardments going off. Yeah, I don't uh, care if this is how we go. <laughs> we'll take this point back. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it's interesting because they could, at this point, I mean, the... Um, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. poor Ronan. <laughs> Run, buddy! Help me! He, oh. he couldn't even use his teleport because he was yep. on cooldown, so... Yeah. Should have stayed on self cover. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna say, at this point, uh, the left side team uh, seems to be at an economic disadvantage. Um, yep. Right hand team has a lot of the resource points captured and built yep. up done, so... There yeah, we can see some of the right-hand players are floating a fair amount of resources. Yeah. Uh, that's, that can be really dangerous because <laughs> having those resources is fine, but if you don't spend them, they're not really doing anything for you. Yeah, and the other team needs to be really smart about which fights they commit to, right? Absolutely. Because they're going to start to be losing a lot of numbers and unfortunately unable to rebuild. Yeah. Um, not to rebuild, but, you know, like it's going to be very slow and you yeah, just absolutely. open a window for... At this point in the game, there's not much refunding of your forces if you lose them. So <coughs> the consequences can be pretty dire. Yeah. Well, yeah. Some rocks coming in there. Yeah, it seems like the right turret onto is the turret. gone. Uh, the turret's yeah. gone. Yeah, so uh, this is absolutely incredible because despite their um, economic disadvantage, the left side team is doing a really good job at winning these battles. Yeah. Looks like they pushed that turret. They have an open um, path to the generator, to the power core, and it seems like it, I think it's up nogging on its own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look like at it. going for it. Yeah, absolutely. It's sort of picking off at that generator. Yeah. Oh, and Solaria's right there, so. Wow, I would be surprised if this is it. It's absolutely incredible. 
We'll see. Oh, Rug's coming in. Uh, I think that was Zapnoggin's fist. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and they're pushing into that orc base, too. Yeah. I don't know how smart that is. I feel like they should have gone uh, through the bottom because they're just walking into the huge defense that the orc player had set up there. Yeah. They have multiple watt towers with turrets on them. It's Oh, they just lost so much. Yeah, uh, look at all those tank busters taking care of business. Yeah. Wraith Knight versus Wraith Knight. Or is that Taldir? Uh, no. no, two Wraith Knights. Knights yeah. Two ranged Wraith Knights, yeah. That's Wraith Knight having to escape. Yeah, yet again, that's, uh, does the wise thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big choice with that unit is whether to s use the jump to engage or to do the, the drive-by, which does a huge amount of damage, yeah. or to save it to get the hell out of dodge when the time comes. Yeah. Because, yeah, you can see the right players pushing at this point. Yeah, well, the um, left side player just basically lost a lot, right? Yeah. Um, they enabled the other team to find a window of opportunity. They're still at a disadvantage because they haven't taken down any generators, any turrets, so. Yeah. Um, They'll have to sort of group together as a team and focus on one of the points, but we'll see. Yeah, uh, so Eldritch Storm going in, it's going to take care of that infantry. It's not super effective against all those Wraith Guard, though. It's going to slow them down, which, but... Yeah. Yeah, it'll be helpful. Uh, it would be helpful if there were a lot of allies there that could um, yeah. do a lot of damage while they were being slowed down, but it doesn't seem like this yeah. player had that, so. That's Looks like they're doing the same thing, though, really going after the base mm -hmm. rather than pushing in. Yeah. It is going to hurt this arc player. They basically just lost their entire base just as the other one did, but. Yeah, orcs. Orcs can rebuild faster than anybody else on the map, though, so yeah. there's a limit to how much of a disadvantage that's going to put them on. Yeah. I definitely feel like the both teams are engaging in fights that they could avoid um, simply by focusing on yeah. um, pursuing the objectives. Oh, look at this. This is a pretty striking force, though. Yeah. Um, you mean the, the orbital will be? Yeah, the orbital. Yeah. The they used it to to slow down that Wraith Knight, which is pretty valuable, but... Yeah, I don't think it's going to kill it, though. No, so. they had a juicy target in all those Wraith Guard, but... Yeah, Solaria got rid of that cover. Yeah. Oh, boy. I love their Queen Solari. <laughs> yeah, she's, so she's cool. great. Yeah. Oh, the Blob of Shadow Spectre's return. Yeah. All right, some fire prisms. Yeah, they Just took a while. Absolutely, but <laughs> they're having some effect. Mostly disruption. Yeah. But oh, Dark Queen. <laughs> welcome yeah, welcome to the Shadow Spectre Blob. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> Yeah. So. Oh, Solaria. She did good though. She did. She did good for a while. Um, so we'll see. Okay, so the so the force is moving upwards. Um, and they have a very strong. They could do a very strong push for the generator. I'd be surprised if they don't. Um, I think the elder player is setting up a portal potentially to teleport back to the base and yeah. reinforce. Oh, uh, you can see they're using Ronin to scout here to see what the enemy has. That's actually a pretty smart use of Ronin at this point. Um, yeah. So he's an early game elite, so his he has some effectiveness late game because he can stun vehicles, but revealing that the Wraith Knight's hanging out there is going to be pretty valuable information. Absolutely, yeah. And um, like the fact that his uh, long shot gives you vision uh, opens yeah. up very small windows to do very sneaky tactics, like <laughs> yeah. teleporting buildings into where he has vision. Absolutely. Oh, and that's, uh, so the Eldar player, uh, the opponent, is trying to build a webway gate close to the, um, basically on that stealth cover close to the generator. Yeah. 
And I think it's because they're going to try to connect it to the base and teleport a bunch of their units in to do yeah. a very quick push without revealing. So we'll see if that's possible. Poor Bone Singer versus though. Listening Foes. Oh. Yeah, Bone Singer let herself be seen, right? So. Yeah. She should have teleported in. I didn't mm. see if she had um, her ability on cooldown, but... Well, she teleported nearby, but oh, not, right. not right in. And they saw her. They saw her. Oh, oh yeah. no. <laughs> Fail. There it goes. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Oh, that's that's good though. She's she's tying up those las cannons. So that's yeah. another <laughs> thing you can do with builders is force them to melee some of these ranged mm -hmm. units. Yeah. In some cases, it's very much worth the sacrifice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, this was a it, it had was a good intentions, <laughs> but uh, it has to be done without um, being seen, right? Yeah. Exactly. Very risky tactic, but yeah. I mean, they have a pretty massive force. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they should be able to take down some generators yeah. pretty handily. Yeah. It's very useful, I think, that this is what the Eldar player is doing. They just keep uh, a lot of webway gates available. Um, yeah. It's good because then you can teleport them at will to where they're mostly needed. Yeah. Look at all those assault marines with power swords. Yeah. Very <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Right side team is very dangerous right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, very stalemate at this moment. Um, I'm not sure what the left side team is up here. to. And Beauty comes back. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, uh, at this point, the best bet on this team is just to uh, group together, uh, use the pinks to coordinate and make yeah. a push for it. Well, looks like the um, orc player is pushing. Yeah, you need Here to come engage the behind space something. Space Marines. Okay, this is going to be a big push. Yep. Let's see, what are they going for? The orc base? Oh, go up. Nope. Oh, poor fire presence. We're gonna go down so quickly. Good, but. Oh, what is this Eldar doing? Yeah, oh, teleporting. Oh, teleporting. In oh, nice. Where is he going? Forward. They went to. Uh, oh, right there, to the webway node. Nice. So, as the. Oh, nice. As the right side team is making a push, they're doing a push on themselves. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and they took out the defenses before, so the the, the, uh, the right side team's at a real disadvantage here. Yeah, I mean, the power core is vulnerable. My god, that's uh, an orbital bombardment coming in. <laughs> the race oh knight boy. is there. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, so this is game. Yeah, so There's the no race knight's coming in to try and defend, but... <laughs> I don't know if they're going to make it. I guess two orbital bombardments, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Nice. Oh, that was pretty incredible. Oh. They were definitely, I thought they were on the back foot, but. I know, yeah. I know. Wow, they just like concentrated their forces. Yeah. They what a game. It was Holy a really moly. good game. For those of you that stuck around until now, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you sign up to play with us this weekend at dawnofwar.com slash beta and get ready to hit the battlefield when Dawn of War 3 releases on April 27th. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe it's only a week away. I am so excited to play with everyone. And on behalf of the team, thank you so much for everyone who's shown so much love to the game. Can't wait to see you play.